Today we will learn about how to interpret pneumatic symbols. Basically a pneumatic system is a system where we use compressed air to do our work. Okay, Bas these are two pneumatic valves. Basically they are direction control valve. They control the direction of compressed air. Now in front of me there are two valves you can see but they look identical. They look same but no they are not same they are different how do we know they are different from the circuit diagram the symbol iso symbol they have on them so they are different now i will teach you how how they are different we have to interpret this symbol so that we understand what this valve is used for and this valve is used for also we can uh, extract the name from the valve by looking at the symbol itself even if we don't know the name of the valve we can know it by the symbol itself now for example if I look at the symbol I can say the name of this valve it is 3 by 2 way valve with push button this is the symbol push button normally closed so 3 I am saying because it has 3 ports and you can see two rooms like structure so three by two two positions three ports and two positions three by two way valve no, normally closed I, why I will explain in the coming part why it is normally closed and this valve it is same three by two way valve with push button normally open so this valve was normally closed 3 by 2 way valve normally closed and this one is 3 by 2 way valve normally open now why it is open why it is closed what's the difference in the coming part i will tell you so the name 3 by 2 way valve with push button normally closed now what is this three number 3 is number of ports, number of ports where the air is passing. So where you get this 3, you get it here on the valve. 1, 2 and 3. Now one may ask what is 1, what is 2, what is 3. So here you go. 1 is always input to the valve and the odd numbers 3, 5, 7, 9 etc. are exhaust. And the even numbers 2, 4, 6, 8 are the output. This one you have to memorize. 1 is input and the odd numbers are exhaust and 2 is output. So this valve has 3 ports as you can see 1, 2 and 3. And how many positions? 3 by 2. Number of position is 2. What is position? Let us discuss about the position. Number of position is 2. 2 is nothing but the number of positions. How can you say number of position? By the number of rooms. You can see a red room here and a blue room. So that means 1, 2. 2 rooms. 2 rooms means the valve has 2 positions. You can see here 2 rooms. How they look like in the actual valve. 2 rooms. Now what are these positions? When you press the valve, there will be one position. When you unpress, there will be one position. Like here we have a push button, so press. This is the actuator here. This push button is nothing but an actuator, which activates the valve. That means it makes it work. So now this spring, you see a spring here, that one return back it's like a return so when you press it the valve shift from position one to two and then once you remove your hand from the button this spring will return the valve back to its position one to better understand how it works here is the valve you have the spring spring there and the push button symbol is something like this which i have drawn here so this is a return spring and this is the actuator of the valve that means it will actuate the valve two positions two rooms three ports and this is a 
triangle is our distributor, the one which supplies compressed air. So as we discussed, one is always input. So our distributor is connected to one. Here you have one here. And uh, two is output, two is output. As we said, two is two, four, six, eight are output. So two is connected to the output, which is cylinder or uh, ro uh, rotor or anything else, any actuator. So now, where is the exhaust? Exhaust three, it's somewhere here, backside. We'll see the hole. There is exhaust. Now, how does it work is, it works like this. Now, Now, if you press the button, if you press the button, the, va the valve, now right now, the valve is in open position. One second, one second, let me change the, no, the previous uh, circuit which I used was wrong. It was normally open. So now we have the same circuit, right? Right now here, we have the same one, okay? It's normally closed. So why we are saying normally closed? Now here is the explanation. Both of them are identical. Here we go. Now, one is input, as I said, from distributor. Then one is going here and it is blocked. It is stopped here. So once you connect this valve to the circuit, what happens is that it is closed. Like initial position, it is closed. That's why we call it normally closed. That means without actuation or without doing anything, it is closed, in closed position. So one, the compressed air goes from here and stops. It stops here. There is no way further. And uh, this one is three is exhaust, as we discussed. And two is output to the actuator. Now, when you press the button, what happens? It is closed, right? When you press the buttons, the valve change its position the valve changes its position it becomes something like this so now once it is in this position the compressed air one moves from here goes to the two goes up there and goes in the inside the cylinder and pushes the cylinder okay right now the valve is pressed then when you release your hand from here what happens, you release your hand, the valve changes position and comes back again to here. Because of the help of spring, there is a spring here, remember. So this spring push back the valve and the valve comes to this position. What happens is the air inside this, there is a, actually there is a single cylinder attached to this one. So there is a spring in the cylinder which pushes back, so the air from here excess air will come to two and it will go from two to three and exhaust it will go out so here is the schematics or the symbol ISO symbol how you understand it now you can interpret this one now let me change it with another valve what was that another valve what was normally open again I took the identical twin or the brother of that valve so don't get confused it is normally closed because one is stopping here. The other one is, one is connected to two, normally open, the identical twin brother. They look together, but they are different. So now you have normally open. So the valve name, how can you go? One, two, three. Three and two positions, three by two, V, valve, with push button. This is the actuator. There can be many things like push button, selector switch, lever, or uh, uh, solenoid, electronic, controlled, automatic. So solenoid, it can be many things. So here right now we have is push button. So the valve name is three by two, push button with, now this one is normally open. Why we say normally open? Because one is connected to two. Here one is connected to two. So as soon as I connect this valve inside the circuit, what happens is that without pressing of button or anything, one from the compressed air from the distributor will directly go into the two and it will 
travel from the two and it will reach the cylinder and the cylinder will move okay without me pressing any button now when I press the button what happens is that this air from here from the cylinder will come back and when I press the button the position will change the air from the cylinder will come back from 2 to 3 so it will retract the cylinder so it's quite opposite of the other valve which is normally closed so this one is normally open so when I release my hand again it connects 1 to 2 so that's the difference between two valves if you understand the schematics of the circuit you can identify the valves easily now for example now this valve we don't know it so how to interpret the name how does it work how is the functions okay the name would be count the number of ports first as I said here number of ports first then slash number of positions then the one which actuates the valve that means which make it work push button lever selector and then what's the condition so this normally closed or open will be in a single uh, output but double output it will not be normally open or normally closed because the air will be coming out and going out so now for example this valve will be like something like this count the number of ports one two three four five right five five slash then how many positions how many rooms one room two room so two five by two okay five by two wave valve with whatever is the actuator it's here push button so five by five by two wave valve with push button hope you got it so what you have to remember is one is input three five seven nine odd numbers are exhaust two four six eight is output and the rooms are the positions of the valve don't get confused this is not exactly the same inside the valve but this is just symbolic representation to understand the schematics how how does it work so one is room one is position one room two is position two usually the position the room beside the actuator which actuates the valve is the position when you press the button it will actuate so the uh, actuated position will be near the button if this is the uh, uh, button and near this room so this is the position when I press it will take this position when I don't press it will take this position and these are the ports and this is the symbol for exhaust hope you got it take care before going I just got another example to, to test okay you have this valve okay please interpret and tell me how many number of ports and how many number of positions write in the comment take care